Welcome to the Red Carpet Movie Review. Today we're going to review Rideshare, the motion picture. Right here on the Red Carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Hollywood, California, welcome to the Red Carpet Review. Starring the showstopper, Sean Valentino. Also starring Rich Twilling. Today we review Rideshare, the motion picture, live from the red carpet. Hey everybody, this is Sean Valentino, your host on the Red Carpet Movie Review. Today we're going to review Rideshare, the motion picture. Now Rideshare, the motion picture, is directed by Tremaine Hayhoe and it stars Bradley Laberman in the lead role as well as an ensemble cast of social media stars and major YouTubers. And I want to start off by saying two things. One, this is one of the most anticipated independent film releases of 2018 because this is the first movie from Tremaine Hayhoe and Hayhoe is known around Hollywood circles as the humble legend and he's one of the most hyped young power brokers in Hollywood. So everybody was anticipating his feature film debut because he's directed YouTube videos that have gotten over hundreds of millions of views. And the entire world was wondering, could he live up to his humble, legendary status? And second, this is not only directed by Hale, it is also produced and written by Hale. So he was a big part of the casting. And I think this casting is a real genius stroke because it really takes advantage of new media and you have some of the biggest YouTubers in the world in this film. You have some huge social media celebrities. So you have a cast here that has a following of millions and millions of people. So you're going to have a huge built-in audience for this movie. And again, I thought that was a genius stroke of casting by Mr. Hayhill. But does this movie live up to the hype? Let's find out. The story of this film is based on a rideshare driver who goes on a killing spree and the variety of young men and women that get in the car with them having no idea where their fate will take them when they hop in his car. And I thought the concept of this film was absolutely brilliant. It revolves around a rideshare driver that goes on a killing spree. But the story is really about all of these passengers that get in his car and all these quirky interactions that they have with this driver. And most of these passengers are played by social media celebrities, guys like Rucka Rucka Ali, Caitlin O'Connor, Sid Wilder, some of the biggest social media stars in the world. And I thought the lead played by Laborman was absolutely brilliant as this creepy, frightening driver but he doesn't overplay it and that's what I really like about this movie is that he plays it with a straight face and I thought that's what made him even more scary and I thought this film was more than a horror movie even though that's how it's marketed I thought the movie was a little bit of a dark comedy as well because within these interactions that these passengers have with this driver you have a lot of relevant social truths being told and you see a real psychological study of the human mind because a lot of these characters represent archetypes that exist in society today. So I thought that's what made the film a lot more fascinating. And again, this movie is more than a horror movie. It's more than a dark comedy. It's really a psychological study of the human mind. So in that sense, this film reminded me a lot of movies like The Shining, Psycho, as well as Collateral. And you really see this story play out in this claustrophobic setting, just like Collateral did. And I thought some of the dialogue here was just brilliantly written by Heho. And again, he deserves a lot of praise here, this being his debut film. He directed this movie absolutely brilliantly because most of it takes place in a cab. And trying to create characters in this claustrophobic setting is extremely difficult to do. And I thought he did a wonderful job here. But I think best of all, as far as performances, is D Sharp. And Sharp is widely recognized as one of the greatest entertainers in the world and one of the most famous musicians on the planet. But this is his first real acting role. And I thought he really nails it out of the park. I thought he did a great job here in a very sympathetic role. And you shouldn't be surprised if you see him nominated for an Oscar when the Academy comes around in 2019. And speaking of Oscars, I think we're definitely going to see a nomination for Hey Ho in his debut film. This is an absolutely masterful work here, and he really lives up to his humble legend name. And after watching this movie, I decided to do a little bit of research on Hey Ho. And it turns out he's a very reclusive guy, and despite the fact that he's got a lot of hype surrounding him, and he's one of the true power brokers in Hollywood. He lives a very humble, down-to-earth lifestyle, very low-key, he's kind of a shy guy. So I think it's really interesting that he lets his work do the talking for him and it really, really is on brilliant display here in this film because I thought it was just a masterful horror movie, a brilliant dark comedy, and a timeless psychological study of the human condition. And you can really see why people in Hollywood call him a combination of Stanley Kubrick and Alfred Hitchcock. 
and a lot of people might not know this, but he directed a controversial music video by the name of Hilly C, which is a parody of the famous Michael Jackson song, Billie Jean. And that video is rumored to have changed the course of the 2016 presidential election. So this is one of the most powerful and dynamic young men in Hollywood today. So congratulations, Mr. Hayho, for your debut film. It was absolutely brilliant. And stay humble, and more importantly, stay legendary. And as you can tell by my glowing praise, I highly recommend this movie because it's something all of us can relate to because nearly all of us have been on these rideshare drives. And I think next time you get in a car with a rideshare driver, all of you will ask yourself, whose car am I getting into? And we here at the Red Carpet Review like to rate our movies on a five-star scale. And I'm going to give Rideshare the motion picture five stars on a five-star scale. Again, this is one of the best horror movies I've seen in a long time. This movie reminded me a lot of these Bloomhouse productions that are low in budget but high in thrills. And I think all of you should be prepared for the ride of your life. Thank you so much for watching this Red Carpet Review of Rideshare, the motion picture. And we have one of our gorgeous movie reviewers here. What did you think about this review? I think it's safe to say I'll be taking Lyft now. Exactly. No more hitch. Thank you so much for watching this Red Cop Review. Be sure to click that like button, press subscribe. We'll see you next week on the Red Carpet. Thank you for watching the Red Carpet Review. Proceed to click that like button and press subscribe for weekly movie reviews past and present. We'll see you soon on the red carpet.